Hey guys, my name is John Luke Singh. I am an engineering student here at NDSU in my junior year in the mechanical engineering program. And today I'm going to be talking to you about the NDSU Rideshare Bicycles. These are a new addition to campus. We just got them implemented last year in 2014. And there's kind of a lot of nice features that they have. We're going to talk about the pros and the cons and give an overall rating about how we feel about these bicycles. So the first thing we'll talk about here is the seat. This is not a racer style seat by any means, but it's for casual riding around campus. It's got a lot of cushion, it's got a wide base, it makes it very comfortable. I think this is a nice feature of the bike because usually the, the distance you're going is less than a 30 minute ride. The bike also has hand brakes and I find these a lot easier to use than your typical foot brakes and this really is good for the safety aspect of stopping quickly. You have the, the brakes right there to access. There's also a bell on the bicycle that will ring to alert people of your presence as you're riding down the street. And it's very easy to just pull it with your finger. We have encountered a little bit of an issue with the bell snapping off and then you can't use it at all. The bicycles also have a lock built into them. Since many students who use these NDSU rideshare bicycles do not own a bicycle or a lock themselves, the school had the insight of providing this lock built into the bicycle. Then if you were to go to the store and you want to go inside to purchase something, you can lock your bike up and you don't have to fear that it will be stolen while you're inside. A mud guard. They're a nice addition. There are gears, and I really like these. Although Fargo is mostly flat, it does help to have the bike start in the gear one, and then as you pick up speed, shift from two to three, and you can get going at a pretty good pace. It only takes me maybe five minutes to get from my apartment half a mile away to campus on one of these bicycles. And next we got the kickstand. You can actually set the bike down without having to lay it all the way down and, and use your hands for something and then just use the kickstand, pull it back up and you're on your way. About the pros of the bike, how about the cons? Although the basket on the bicycle is nice, the design could be improved upon. It's on the front of the bicycle and it's rather heavy, causing the bike to sway left and right and not be stable as you ride it. It does not absorb shock well, so items placed in the basket could bounce out of it or break inside of the basket. Here we have a testimonial about the rideshare bikes from John Ballmer. My name's John Ballmer. I've been a student here since uh, last year. One thing I'll say about the rideshare bikes is that you, know, you can just get a bike whenever you really need to. The only bad thing I hate is it's impossible to find a spot to actually leave the bike. If we could just really get some more spots up there for the bikes, it'd be wonderful, man. Throughout this video, we have discussed some of the accessories of the rideshare bicycle. Many of these features are beneficial to students, although there is some room for improvement. An example would be the design of the basket on the front of the bicycle. It should be recognized, however, that these bicycles are free for students to use, and they could choose not to use them if they really do not like them. So I would give the rideshare bicycles 4.5 stars out of 5 because they're a good utility for students to use on campus.